What's up, everybody? I am Anthony Ponder, and I am standing on the shoulders of Kirk Franklin. Um, I'm sure a lot of us could um, call his name for many reasons besides the fact that he's an icon and a legend um, in music, period. Um, but today I want to honor him because I remember growing up as a kid, as a teenager, um, Kirk began to change what gospel sounded like. Um, and unfortunately, he got a lot of uh, pushback from us as a church. He got a lot of uh, discouraging things. I mean, we called him everything except the child of God, right? Uh, we told him he wasn't called, all that great stuff. Um, but uh, the reason why I want to honor him today is because Kirk stayed true to what he was called to do and what God assigned him to do. And, you know, obviously everybody knows the story. The, the records became extremely commercially successful. Um, and, and more importantly, it began to show Jesus in a different light. It, it transcended um, what gospel was. It transcended the sound and it began to break barriers. So it went beyond the four walls of the church. Um, so, I mean, you know, let's be honest, Kirk made Jesus look cool. Um, in a whole different way. So I want to honor him today as a way to encourage myself and anybody else that may feel like um, you don't fit in or you don't fit the mold of what the industry sounds like or what other people say you should sound like. Um, you know, again, just like Kirk, we got to stay true to what God has assigned us to do. And the, and the story is that he's going to honor his assignment. He's going to bless it. Um, and he's going to do the work. And more importantly, he's going to be glorified because we're staying true to the assignment. So I want to honor Kirk Franklin today. Again, my name is Anthony Ponder. Peace.